Have you seen any episodes of this new show called New Red Cherry Flavor or something on Netflix? No. Have you? I have. She vomits cats. What? That is... She vomits cats. Yep, that's one of the I'm things. I'm saying in the that show. that's unfortunate, but she's got a lot of cats then, right? Yeah, are they she, living? She, they are born that way. She vomits oh, them out. Oh, well. That's weird, man. That's and weird. I won't say who, which she, but if you watch it, you'll watch a woman barf out baby kitties. That is not how childbirth in a happens. Sack. I just want to make that very clear. You Josh. Stupid reaction TV, it's up, Corbin. <laughs> I'm Ashley. <laughs> All right, Rick. You can follow us on Instagram and Twitter for more juicy content. It's so juicy. In case everybody was really concerned about the birds and the bees in that regard, you don't it. in case you were wondering, I wonder, do the babies come from our vomit? Do we puke them up? Uh, no. Today we're doing. I hate that. I think this is a spoken word thing. This is called 2 a.m. text, uh, many nights, uh, by Rabia Kapoor. Okay. Um, you want to read it, Ash? Yeah. How do I say that first word? Commune. That's what I was going to say, yeah. but I'm not sure. Commune brings you the best of spoken word in India. It is, in fact, spoken word, Corbin. Thanks. Specializing in storytelling and poetry. Rabia Kapoor is one of their most talented artists. I am here constantly just waiting with a stupid, eager smile in my eyes, with a stupid, eager high in my voice as I answer the phone on the first ring when you call. Have you oh. ever liked someone so much that uh, staring into their mind is like staring into yours? You keep writing love poems and imagining fantasies in your mind when all you want to do is never let them go. 2 a.m. texts by Rabia Kapoor is a spoken word piece that will bring back the rush of feelings that you may have once experienced, and for some, if you're lucky, still experiencing. 2 a.m. text, booty call. Right, guys? Right, guys? Always. Uh, gotta love those two a two two a two a two a those yeah. two a texts. Two a texts from your husband. Hey, girl, get over here, and you're like, shut up, I'm sleeping. Your husband? Yeah. Yeah, your he husband. He comes over too. on occasion. Yeah. <laughs> Rick, can you relate? I can relate. I, I, I felt you nodding. Yep. Off. <laughs> Not an off. I got it. But did you hear my phone laugh? Yeah, whatever. I spend many nights imagining you imagining me. Is it vain to Maybe. wonder what you're wondering when you wonder about me? Yes. Is it self-absorbed to think about what you think about when you think about touching me? Hmm. Is it narcissism to realize that looking into your mind is like looking into mine? And that all I want is to keep staring into that mirror where you and I are reflected in each other. Beautiful. I spend many nights with my eyes open, glued to the darkness of my bedroom ceiling, where scenarios play out like a thin layer of film under my eyelashes. Foggy with daydreams and seeping into night dreams, and I dream a little about you. And I dream a little about me. And my dreams, they morph us together, and I want to know, is that conceited? Is it conceited that I have rearranged all the furniture of my mind to all be facing that big projector where I pay reruns of your fingers running up and down the length of me, burying themselves in the arch of my back, losing themselves in the tangles of my hair, and then finding themselves once more in the gaps between my own. I spend many nights composing these self-conscious love poems. But self-conscious as in conscious of the self. Self-conscious as in you and me being a self. Mm. Self-conscious love poems of yourself for myself in our self. I spend many nights fumbling with these fantasies, which I try to construct through word documents and WhatsApp conversations of you and me. Am I being? Am I? Or am I just completely selfless? Because think about it. I have dedicated all my time to constructing versions of you. I'm wooing you in my head. I'm seducing you in secret. I'm pushing you down the stairs in the privacy of my imagination just so that I can watch you fall for me. And I'm beginning ah. to think, okay, maybe I'm being selfish. Because I know that in reality, sometimes you have to sleep. There are gaps in our conversation because you have to eat. There are breaks in our eye contact because you're watching the road. But God, I wish you weren't. I wish you could be like me. I am here 
constantly, just waiting with this stupid eager smile in my eyes, with a stupid eager hi in my voice as I answer the phone on the first ring when you call. I know that in reality, sometimes you're going to be busy, but I spend many nights pretending that you're not. I don't say anything because I'm not a psycho. I'm never gonna let you know that in my head I never let you go. I'm holding on to memories of you holding me. I'm holding you hostage as you're roaming free. I remember once when we were sitting by the sea, you told me that sometimes you mentally address me. <laughs> and I wanted to laugh because you looked so guilty and if only you knew what you're going through, up here, with what I'm doing to you, <laughs> you're tied up and gagged. And you so you never need to blink and you don't have to miss a moment of me. But I swear I'm not a lunatic. I'm not crazy, I just don't like sleeping alone. I spend many nights pretending that you're with me at home. Even though you're lying in your bed and I in mine, sometimes I pretend that those beds are combined. And I spend many nights with my headphones on, where I play the sound of your heartbeat, knocking against your chest, knocking against my ear on repeat. As your breath hums through your entire body and the rhythm of your lungs lulls me to sleep. And I have my favorite kind of nights, of the many nights I spend. It's when the sun's still rolling outside and the night has yet to begin. Then all the walls of my fantasy slowly collapse and my daydreams, they evaporate in the heat of the light. It's when I'm sitting beside you and you beside me and you're watching me, watching you, watching me. And I smile at that smile that you're smiling for me and then I know. I'm not full of narcissism and conceit. I just like you a lot. What? Don't you like me? Well, that was wonderful. <laughs> If you like that, then please hit subscribe, comment, share, like, Twitter, Facebook, <laughs> all of that. Um, tell your friends. Um, if you didn't like it, you should share, subscribe, uh, comment, like, <laughs> and bell icon anyway because support other artists and <laughs> tell your mom and dad about it because parents love me and um, have, a, have a good quarantine if you're watching this in, in the quarantine. Oh. That was wonderful. I enjoyed that a lot. That was beautiful. Sometimes you're driving down the road in the fall, especially in LA, this will happen. You'll be driving down the road in the fall and you'll see trees, many of which don't turn here like they do anywhere remotely close to back no. east. Yeah. We don't have a fall, but every once in a while- You'll see the one tree. You'll see the one tree and it'll, you'll gasp because it's so pretty. That's what that was in the slew of things that we often watch. When something of elevative artistry pops up, Yeah you go, oh yes, that was, that was one of those moments. Yeah, that was a, that was a fantastic uh, like a poem. Yeah, it was a spoken word poem. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I think somebody who, if you've ever been in a relationship, you guy, I think can kind of understand. I hope that if you've been in a relationship, <laughs> yeah. you can understand. Yeah, if you've been in a relationship and don't know that, then I'm really sorry, because that's what you should know if you're in love. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. That that was well said. That's pretty much the quintessential. Like, if 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 you felt and thought that, then you oh. know what it means to be in love with somebody. Um, that was beautiful. Oh, yeah. Sorry, my neck hurts. Yeah, that was for sure. Have we seen her before? She she, she looks, looks familiar. Is she in like Girly Appa or any of those? I, I don't videos. Maybe is she is she with the girls that we recently have done some reactions to? I don't know. She seems so familiar. I agree. I don't know if we forgive me if we her. have seen you before. But you're very, you're like, you idiot! I know. You're you very know? very talented. Keep doing what you're doing. So uh, good. If you're watching, sometimes it happens. Like when like we watch certain like. Unknown artists just do the like, dancers or right. whatever. Then they'll see our video. so happy when that happens. Um, the fact that you can see that you're appreciated and you're really talented. And even though I'm sure you will, just keep doing what you're doing because it's wonderful. And yes, everybody share it. We need we need to elevate artistry that's good and expansive of the human condition. And that was just that was what human beings were all about right there. And chain and gag your partner. <laughs> Josh.